And for your last report of the day, we're going to go into this report about millions of dead sardines that have washed up the shore on the Chile coast. It is the first time that such a catalytic phenomenon occurs in this coastal community. Not only the worst wildfires in decades are currently plaguing Chile, yesterday millions of dead sardines were covering the beach. The dead fish were first discovered by tourists visiting the region, then the unexplained phenomenon started to interest baffled local residents. The dead bodies cover an area of at least 300 meters long. The Chilean Navy is investigating the water temperature and contamination. Now huge amounts of gulls are eating the dead fish. Is Chile the only place that we're seeing this? No. On January 29th, 400 dead monkeys were found in the forests in Brazil. Masses of dead fish washing up again on beaches in Florida. 10,000 plus pheasants to be killed due to avian flu in England. 3,700 dead birds found in the waters of Sacramento. Hundreds of birds dying from disease in Washington. Why are we seeing so many dead animals? animals in these days litter the world. Hosea chapter 4 verses 1 through 3 tells us, Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel, for the Lord has a controversy with the inhabitants of the land, because there is no truth, nor mercy, nor knowledge of God in the land. By swearing and lying and killing and stealing and committing adultery, they break out, and blood toucheth blood. Therefore shall the land mourn and every one that dwelleth therein shall languish with the beasts of the field and with the fowls of heaven yea the fishes of the sea also shall be taken away god's word is more up to date than today's headlines he's already warned us that we were going to see mass animal deaths he's warned us that we would see earthquakes in diverse places and even great earthquakes he's warned us about volcanoes asteroids, the mark of the beast. He always warns us. And that's how we know that we are in the last days and we see these things come to pass right before our very eyes. So very interesting. I will definitely keep you guys up to date. But um, those are your breaking headlines for today. I want to send out an invitation to anybody out there that has any questions about these end days or about Jesus Christ. I would love to hear from you. You can email me at cww7news at gmail.com. I would be honored even to lead you in a prayer of salvation. So um, I'm here for you if you have any questions. But those are your headlines for today. Come and visit me on Facebook where I have these headlines and many more. Also on my website at www.cww7news.org and also come and visit us on Caster FM. That is a uh, radio internet uh, station. We would love to see you guys there. We have the news, preaching, teaching, worship, lots of wonderful things. We'd love to see you there. Have an amazing evening and I will see you tomorrow. God bless.